What's going on guys? My name's Gina. This is the Technique of the Week. Happy you uh, tuned in. I want to talk about a couple different things today. I want to talk about a couple things that I do with my pick when I'm doing like finger style stuff and when I'm playing. And then I want to talk about trill bends because I think they're awesome and they're super fun. So let's talk about the trill bend first. So I just did like an example of just like a solo in E minor, right? All good, did some pentatonic stuff. Um, so I took this like E pentatonic trill, right? So what's a trill? A trill is when we're gonna hammer on and pull off of a note like really fast, right? So what's a hammer on? If I'm doing a hammer on, I'm gonna have one finger anchoring a note down. So in this case, E pentatonic, no big deal. I'm gonna put my index finger here on the 12th fret and I'm just gonna use my pinky practice getting your pinky strength up. Sometimes I'll do it with my ring finger, but it's it's always good practice to just like try and do this stuff with your pinky if you're, especially if you're just sitting at home, you know, this is stuff you can do if you're like watching TV or just hanging out. You can just kind of sit around and, and do this kind of stuff, build your pinky strength. But anyway, we're gonna have one note anchored down. It's gonna be the 12th fret on the B string. And then I'm going to hammer on to the 15th fret also on the B string. Let's get a little signal here. Right, so to hammer on, I'm just going to hammer on to the 15th fret like this. I'm gonna pluck the note. Right, I'm sure we all know about that. And I'm gonna pull off. So that's all good. So to get the bend in there, I'm gonna reach behind the note. I'm gonna reach behind the 12th fret on the B string. Uh, I tend to use my middle finger for this. And I'm just gonna pull that B string up towards the lower strings. So hopefully you can see this. I'm just like pulling the B string up. It's probably hard to see. I'm getting a little, little sun glare here. But here we go. <laughs> Got my trill going. So that's just like a really cool thing. This is something like I've heard Randy Rhodes do or like Hendrix. There's a bunch of ways to do this kind of thing. If you have like a whammy bar, like Randy Rhodes would have like, right? Like some kind of Floyd Rose whammy bar kind of thing. You can do a trill and like dump your whammy bar down. You can reach behind the nut, right, and kind of like manipulate the string that way. But this is another just like cool example that my guitar teacher showed me and I was like, that's awesome. Um, you also have a little bit more control over the pitch so you can get a bit more weird, a bit more expressive with it. So that's pretty cool. So trill bend, it's a really fun thing. And like I said, just practicing your trills is gonna help build your dexterity and all of that. So you can just take like a trill kind of thing and go through like your pentatonic positions, right? Like if you learn all five positions of the pentatonic scale, which we won't go through that right now, but you can like Google that, it's like oh, no big deal. Learn all your positions and then you could take like one string at a time. Like if I'm an E pentatonic, I have a pentatonic position that on the B string, my notes would be here at 10, 12, right? And then 12, 15. And then 15, 17, I can just go ahead and practice like doing trills through those three positions, but on one string. So that's kind of a cool thing. That's all good. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is when I do like finger style stuff, which I do pretty often in Baroness and a lot of different settings and bands that I've been in, um, I tend to tuck my pick in, like inside my index finger like this. So this gives me like quick access to, if I'm doing like a finger picking thing, I can pull it out real quick. Um, I just have it right there. I think I adopted doing this. I used to work at a Cirque du Soleil show where I had to wear like crazy makeup and stuff. And uh, I would always put my pick in my mouth, but I couldn't like do that without like messing up the thing that I had to wear during 
like their performance or whatever. So I've started doing this like tugging it in the index finger thing. I don't know. It works really well for me. A lot of times like in the example that I was doing earlier, I did this like kind of finger style like <laughs> I got my uh, got my pick in there and I can just kind of do these little finger style rolls and then too I can like pull it back out if I'm doing some alternate picking thing I got to get through riff um, I can tuck it back in if I want to do like a trill bend or any kind of finger tapping thing it's just like a, a thing that I got used to doing so check it out maybe it'll work for you uh, so this is a technique of the week and I hope that this is fun you could do some creative new stuff with it let me know how it goes